Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to Ms. Hearn Mathematics for more math videos. There are five very common U substitutions. Remember, U substitution is used to rewrite integrals to match the common integral formulas. And it in fact often reverses the chain rule. There is no chain rule for integration like there is for derivatives, but instead what we do is we let U equal the inner function and use a substitution. When you're deciding on U, here are some of the possible U substitutions. If you have a quantity raised to a power, then you can let u be that quantity. So in the first example, I have 2x plus 3 to the 100th. We could let u be the 2x plus 3. Or you can let u be the denominator of a function in the integrand. For example, here I have 1 over 2x plus 3. You could let, again, u equal 2x plus 3. You could also let u be the argument of a trig function, whether it be sine, cosine, tangent, whatever's inside the argument, like this 2x plus 3, sometimes if you let u equal that, you can get a nice u substitution. You can let u be the exponent of an exponential expression, like e to the 2x plus 3, let u be the 2x plus 3. Or the last thing is any transcendental functions. So transcendental functions are like trig functions, natural log functions, uh, functions like x to the x power, basically all the weird functions that cannot be written as um, a combination of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponentiation. In that case, we are going to try letting u be one of those functions. For example, in the integral of 1 over x natural log of x, we would try letting u be the natural log of x. Or in the case of sine of x plus 1 times cosine of x, either let u be sine of x plus 1 or u be cosine of x. Okay, so out of all of these options, the problem that we're working, the only ones that I see are possibly to let u equal the denominator, or we could let u equal natural log of x which is both a transcendental function and the quantity being raised to a power. I don't think u equals 16 x is gonna be real helpful here because du would be 16 dx and I, that would not give me any way to substitute u's in for natural log of x to the fifth and it's not gonna simplify my expression. So instead, I'm going to try the other. And don't be afraid to try multiple u substitutions until you find something that works. I'm gonna try letting u be natural log of x, so that means that du would have to be one over x dx. And the way I like to think about it is I look at my original integral and I try rewriting it where I separate out these quantities, the u and the du. So I have the integral from 1 to 25, and I'm going to separate out the integrand into a product of natural log of x to the fifth times 1 over 16 times 1 over x. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to see that 1 over x and the dx which I see right here, that's going to be my du. And this guy inside the parentheses, that's going to be u. And the only thing I have, I have an extra 1 16th. That's okay. We can always just bring that coefficient out front of the integral. The only other thing I need to worry about is remember that since this is a dx integral, these are x values. In fact, I like to write, remind myself these are x values by writing x right here. If I'm going to change this to all u's, it doesn't make sense to have bounds that are x's. So let's figure out when x is equal to 1, what would u be equal to? It would be the natural log of 1. Um, which is going to be 0. And when x is equal to 25, u would be equal to the natural log of 25. So let's make our substitution. We have the integral from u equals 0 when x equals 1 to u equals natural log of 25 when x equals 25 of u to the fifth du, and I'm going to bring that 1 16th out front. Now this fits one of my common integration formulas, right? This is the situation x to the n. So we can use the rule that we can add 1 to the exponent and divide by it. 
So now I know I picked a good U substitution. I was able to replace all of my X's with U's and my resulting integrand U to the fifth fits one of my integration formulas that I can use to integrate. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. If you'd like to see the rest of this problem worked out, you can find it at the link on the screen. And remember to hit that subscribe button.